Hi, I'm Matt with Bantam Tools. Today, we're gonna to be making our own precision machinist ruler, and I'll be sharing some engraving tips to help you get reliable results. We are making our ruler out of anodized aluminum. As we mill away the colored layer, silver lines will be revealed underneath. Since these lines will be very closely spaced, we have to consider the end mill taper and our engraving depth so our lines don't appear too wide. A wider taper end mill is stronger, but a shallow engraving depth is required to create fine lines. And with a shallow engraving depth, any deviation in the height of our stock can cause our end mill to cut air. For part of our milling job, we're using a specialized end mill from Harvey Tool that will provide a good balance of strength and taper angle. To ensure our stock is as level as possible, we're taking the added step of facing the spoil board of our Bantam Tools desktop PCB milling machine. So to be clear, this step isn't always necessary, but it should be performed anytime you remove and reinstall your spoil board, or if you've accidentally customized your spoil board on a previous project. We provide detailed instructions on how to face a spoil board in the support section of our website, bantamtools.com. Okay, so we've chosen the right end mill for the job and we've leveled our spoil board, but let's talk about one more issue that isn't always at the top of mind, tool run out. Tool run out is when the center line of the end mill is not in line with the center line of the spindle. Now this can cause increased chatter, poor surface finish, and reduced tool life. Using this dial test indicator, we can measure a small amount of run out that could be a big problem when milling fine details. To ensure we reduce our run out as much as possible, we'll be taking the time to clear the collet and spindle taper of any debris that could cause the end mill to be pushed off center. We're also going to use the Bantam Tools high precision collet that is optimized for fine detail work. As we machine our ruler, we're getting nice, clean, tight lines, a quality surface finish, and that precision and accuracy that we're striving for. And if we line up our finished homemade ruler with this store-bought one, we can see that our lines line up perfectly. Thank you for watching, and thanks to Harvey Tool for supplying us with some specialty end mills to try out. To learn more about the Bantam Tools desktop PCB milling machine, visit us at bantamtools.com.